In this module, we will review the before takeoff procedures for the Piper Warrior. The procedures can be divided into the following four sections. Aircraft positioning, ground run-up, before takeoff, and line items. When positioning the aircraft for the before takeoff procedures, it is important to give consideration to the surrounding traffic, the prop wash generated by your aircraft, and the wind direction. To give yourself ample time to complete all of the pre-takeoff checks without adding pressure, it is important that you select an area that does not block other taxiing aircraft. If available, a dedicated run-up area provides the most ideal location. Second, check that the area behind the aircraft is clear to avoid harm to people and property from your prop wash. And finally, the aircraft should be aligned as close as possible to into the wind to allow for better engine cooling. Ground run-up. Before uh, ground run-up, we want to make sure that we engine instruments are in the green, specifically the oil temperature, uh, which is now in the green. Fuel selector is on the uh, fullest tank, which is the right-hand tank. Mixture set for full rich. Throttle 2000, slow and smooth, and we'll check that the engine instruments remain in the green. We're dividing our tension between inside and outside the aircraft. We hold the brakes. The aircraft shouldn't move. Okay, 2000 RPM. Engine instruments are on the green. We'll do our mag check. We have a drop of uh, about 90. Back to both. Recovers. Drop of 90. Differential is within tolerances. Max Look drop is within tolerances. We we'll recover. Ammeter is uh, checked for a normal load. And vacuum pressure is checked for normal. That's for our standby attitude indicator. We'll check our carburetor heat for a slight drop in the engine RPM. And we'll do an idle check right now. Bring the throttle back smoothly to idle with the carb heat on. We'll make sure that the engine continues to idle. Carb heat off. Reset 1,000 RPM and mixture leaned. Ground run up is complete. All right, before takeoff checklist, flight controls. Pull forward, stabilators pull forward. Right hand turn, left aileron is down, and right aileron is up. Pull back, no binding. Stabilators Flex deflected up. Um, pull left. White Skyhawk is turning. Left Final aileron is up. Right aileron is down. Traffic. Pull forward, stabilizer moves freely, back to neutral. Flight controls are free and correct. Flaps are set, 10 degrees, and visually checked, right and left. Trims are set, rudder trim is set, uh, and pitch trim is set for takeoff. Bounciators are all clear. Cabin door is secured. Takeoff briefing will be departing runway uh, 27. Winds are about 290, so we'll have a slight rise cr uh, crosswind on uh, takeoff today. Runway distance computed. Is, uh, takeoff roll is about 800 feet. And we have uh, 6,000 feet available to us. Rotate the aircraft at uh, 55. We'll climb out at 79 VY. We'll be in left closed traffic to 1,100 feet. And I have that bugged here. Radios are set to uh, common traffic advisory frequency 122.8. Uh, 423 Hector Rome is about 3. Uh... And before takeoff checklist complete down to the line. Once the before takeoff checklist is complete, the aircraft should be taxied to the runway hold short markings in preparation for takeoff, or in sequence with other traffic waiting for takeoff. When approaching the runway hold short markings, it is advised to leave some distance between the markings and the aircraft to avoid an inadvertent runway incursion. Also, if possible, the aircraft should be oriented in such a way that allows the pilot to clearly see the final approach path in order to check for arriving traffic prior to taxiing onto the runway.
The line items are the final tasks of the before takeoff checklist that should only be completed when you are actually ready to taxi onto the runway. At a towered airport, they are typically performed when your takeoff clearance is received from the tower. The line items should be committed to memory so that they can be performed in an orderly and efficient way. The mixture should be set for full rich unless the density altitude is high, in which case the mixture is set for maximum RPM. Next, moving from left to right on the electrical switch panel, the electric fuel pump is turned on and a final check of fuel pressure is confirmed. Both the landing light and wingtip strobes should be turned on. If required, the pitot heat should also be turned on. The transponder should be checked to verify that the proper code is set and that the altitude function is enabled. When the aircraft is aligned on the runway, the pilot should ensure that the magnetic compass heading and the stabilized compass heading agree with the runway direction. Also, although not a checklist item, it is good practice to note the actual takeoff time. Areas are clear. Trim set. Mixture rich. rich. Fuel pump on. Pressure is checked. Landing light is on. Strobes are on. Transponder set 1200. Area is still clear. Alignment check, west, west, and we're on 2-7, everything agrees there. Normal takeoff, slight right crosswind. Engine static.